Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this time of worship. What a joy it is to gather. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Some days are easier than others to be joyful, but God always calls us to enjoy what God has in store for us. What a joy it is to be here today. If you're visiting with us, I hope you felt warmly welcome already. If not, surely before you leave here, please know that we are here to serve and minister to you, and we're just so blessed that you're are with us here today. Have a, a number of announcements. I'm going to start with uh, Sandy Ruth. She's going to share about our gifts for Christ. <laughs> Good morning. This Wednesday, the KFC program made Valentine bags for our shut-ins, and we have about nine bags left. If uh, you are willing to visit someone, um, one of our shut-ins, and willing to take a bag, uh, that would be wonderful. Outside of Dale's office in the hallway, there, there's a, a, a pile of bags. If you'll just check off who you're taking it to so we make sure all of our shut-ins uh, are visited at some point this week. We appreciate it. Um, also, just want to quickly make a couple announcements for Cindy Ferg, who's downstairs in the nursery. Um, we're going to need some extra nursery volunteers. This is a wonderful problem to have. Uh, we have a, a growing congregation, and our, our young, young infants, toddlers, and so forth, are just multiplying <laughs> by the day, by the week, downstairs. And I know that Dan Stowe's done a fantastic job of helping us, but we, def we definitely need more help, uh, especially during the 9 o'clock service and uh, the 10 o'clock hour and the 11 o'clock hour. So if you, if God calls you to do that, and you feel open to doing that, please let Cindy Carr know so she can put you in on a rotation. Uh, it wouldn't be every Sunday, so it would be on a rotation. And also, if you haven't had a chance to go downstairs, we want to say a huge thank you to Amy Sheridan. She painted the nursery this week. It's beautiful, and she did it all herself and all of her own time, and we appreciate her time in doing that. It's very, very beautiful and child-friendly, so thank you. Thank you, Cindy. We're so blessed to have so many of you who share your gifts in so many different ways here in the life of the church. And as you know, today we're going to be receiving some new members, and that is always a joy. Just a couple of other announcements. Uh, Shirley Parkin will need to please draw your attention in the bulletin to the announcement from the Missions Committee. Uh, the, the committee will be coordinating and hosting a soup kitchen during the month of March. Uh, that is right in the middle of Lent. And their desire is for a number of us to think that this will be a good opportunity for us to uh, give back to our community. They, they'll be on Thursday at 6 o'clock. Uh, the intent is to reach out beyond ourselves. Of course, any of us are welcome to be there as well. But recognizing that there are a number of families in our community that would really benefit from a hot meal. Uh, and we would like to begin that process during uh, the season of Lent. So you'll see the information there, and if you don't call Shirley, somebody may be calling you. So you may want to go ahead and volunteer, but I think this is a wonderful uh, effort on the part of our mission committee. They do such a great job in encouraging us to reach beyond ourselves. Also, the luncheon, uh, our adult luncheon is this week, this Thursday at noon. I hope you've already turned in your reservation. If you haven't, there's slips out in the narthex. You can call the church office. Uh, it's very helpful for us to have a count. Uh, you'll see there is a very special program that will be this Thursday, and I hope that you will uh, take advantage of that. You see the other groups that are meeting this week. Also, last Sunday we mentioned the uh, blood drive and bone marrow drive in honor of Kevin Roberts. Uh, this this coming Friday uh, at the Weaverville Town Hall from 1:30 to 6:30 p.m. We certainly want to keep this family in our prayers, and this is also an opportunity for us to give an honor. Uh, Kevin, and then to increase the folks on the National Bone Marrow Registry, 